What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back, obviously, yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Master Tier Licky Licky Series 12 team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please take two seconds out of your day. Just scroll down a little bit and click that pink red subscribe button. We're closing in on 15,000 subscribers. And I cannot thank you guys enough. But uh, yeah, we got Licky Licky today. And Licky Licky is one of those Pokemon that you never really get to see in the online meta. So we, we found a team with him surrounded by a bunch of meta Pokemon. So this should be a good one. And we should be able to grab some wins with it. But getting started in that top up corner with today's team preview, we have the one and only Zassian with Interpret Sword and Rusted Sword as item and ability to give that plus one attack boost when it hops into battle. It's got Iron Head, it's got Sacred Sword, Protect, and then Substitute. And if you guys know Substitute Zassian, it can set up and be very, very, very strong. But the problem with Substitute Zassian is you have to find the perfect time to set up that Pokemon. But if you do, it's really powerful. Second Pokemon is going to be our second restricted mon. It is going to be Kyogre with that Assault Vest and the Drizzle ability. So this Kyogre right here has four great moves. It's got the Origin Pulse, the Water Spout, the Ice Beam, and Thunder. And is a really good Pokemon in the Dynamax form. Middle left is going to be our Choice Scarf Galarian Zapdos with Defiance. So that really counters up on Intimidate Pokemon. And then we have that Choice Scarf so we can outspeed a bunch of Pokemon and get off some big damage. It's got Thunder's Kick. Brave Bird for Stab, Throat Chop, and then it's got Coaching to coach our physical attackers such as Licky Licky or even Zacian. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Regilecki over here. He's here for some speed control, and he's also really good with doing big damage, especially when you Dynamax this Pokemon. It's got Transistor alongside with the Magnet as its item that boosts electric damage. Then it's got Assurance, Wild Charge, Extreme Speed for first turn priority, and last but not least, it's Rocking E Web for speed control. Bottom left hand corner is the reason I picked this team. We got Licky Licky over here, and I'm super excited to actually use this Pokemon. It's got own tempo as its ability. Alongside with that life word, we give it a bit more of a bigger damage every time it hits. It's got protect, EQ for coverage, body slam for stab, and then power whip for another coverage move. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Tornadus over here, a great little support mon with Prankster and the Mental Herb. It's got Taunt to Taunt opposing support mons, Hurricane for its stab move, and it hits 100% of the time in the rain, so pair it up with the Kyogre. It's just a deadly combo. Then you got Tailwind for speed control and protect for our final move. Guys, if you want to run this code for yourself, the run to code is at the bottom of the screen. Let's get after it. Let's hop into that master tier. Look to get some wins with this Licky Licky. Let's get rolling with this Licky Licky squad in battle number one, where you're going up against a Kyogre and a Necrozma team, alongside with Incineroar, Defiant, Thunderous, if I had to guess, maybe it could be Prankster, you never know, and then he's got Rollaboom and Whimsicott for its final two Pokemon. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I could lead the bird alongside with Licky Licky and maybe just coaching combo them. It would work rather well. We could take Speed Control with a Tailwind, which I'm thinking of doing because he does have a Pokemon like Whimsicott. Whimsicott could be kind of a pain. So I could go Zapdos, or I could just go Licky Licky alongside with that and lower their speed. That's not a bad little Pokemon. Does he have any fighting Pokemon? I mean, he has, uh, no, not really. No, he has no Pokemon with probably no fighting moves. Maybe a Max Knuckle from a, uh, Thunderous. But that's stretching it. That is definitely stretching it. So let's go Licky Licky. Let's go Tornas. Let's take some Speed Control. And then we are going to bring Kyogre and Zacian in the back end. This worked too well. Or maybe we shouldn't bring Kyogre. We could definitely take out Kyogre and bring Zapdos instead just to take out that Rillaboom. I kind of do dig that. I kind of do dig that because Kyogre, it's good and all, but, like, up against Rillaboom, Rillaboom just takes it out. 10 times out of 10, just a grassy glide straight to the face. He's dead every single time. So that's our problem. Especially if we have Assault Vest too, so we cannot protect. We can't really do much up against a Rillaboom. So yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna take out the Rillaboom. We're going to bring in that that Galarian Zapdos with that Choice Scarf. If you guys know that Pokemon can hit like a truck. But before battle number one even starts, you guys got to let me know for question of the day. Series 13 is right around the corner. And what Series 13 Pokemon do you want me to showcase first? I'm thinking Magirna or Marshadow. If you guys have any other options, leave them down in the comment section down below. But Shiny Licky Licky is going to come out here. This Pokemon's looking nice. It's looking type nice. Look at my boy. Look at my boy. We could pop a... What's he called? We could definitely pop a... Uh, a Tailwind, but he might... He might trick him here. He might trick him. Right? He might trick I kind of just want to taunt this Pokemon just in case he wants to trick him. I mean, if he trick him, we have Licky Licky Buzz. I'm just going to tail him. I'm just going to take some speed control. I'm with this. I don't think he's going to trick him. I really don't think he's going to trick him. He's going to die next. Yeah. So no trick him coming out from him. We're going to get straight after this. Um, I could bring in Zapdos after this and just coach up, but that's the problem with the coaching combo. That's the one problem with the coaching combo is... uh. Is it takes away everything from Zapdos because he's choice scarfed into it. So it could be good. It could be good. It could be bad. It really depends how this battle is looking. So we're going to end up, end up Dynamaxing our Licky Licky. He's going to end up Dynamaxing his Necrozma. 
We're gonna go to Max Strike and we're just gonna take complete speed from him. Oh, I dig it. I wonder what he's going for with uh with that thunders. I feel like it's just a uh, prankster thunders. What do I do? He go for eerie impulses. He could roll out that way. I'm curious. I am definitely curious. See how some plays out here. Tailwind's gonna poke out from us. Yes, sir. And hopefully he'll just taunt my uh Bonatus. He's gonna go for a fling. Okay, so he's gonna proc policy and he's gonna get after it with a Salic berry as well. So this is kind of scary. Can you go after my uh, Tornadas? Please just go after my Tornadas because we know this Salic berry. It's definitely gonna do me dirty. It's definitely gonna do me dirty. So we Tailwind up. I think Licky Licky should probably get an X, right? No, he does not. Licky Licky's so slow. Rockfall coming in high and just take out my Tornadas, please. Cool, he takes out my Tornadas. I'm kind of fine with that. I'm kind of fine with that. Um, What can I do from here? We're gonna slow down everybody and we are gonna get off some big damage onto that uh onto that thunderous but still but still we are sitting in a little tough position here but we want to showcase lucky licky that's why i died max but max strikes can come out here big time damage we dump on him in one shot yo licky licky can hit like a truck too slowing down that necrosman that's really good for licky licky hopefully we can outspeed him now with that tailwind and that minus one it should be good we should be good but we'll take some buffets. We'll take some life orb damage. We have a ton of HP. I could go into that or I could go into... I could go into the burn. I mean, this wouldn't be too bad. I'm trying to think who he's going to bring out here. Because he can just like max quake me. I could set up a sub. This might be my play. That might be my play. Or I can force the ground move. He's got to be rocking with the ground move, right? He's got to be rocking with the ground move, right? We have physical attackers on the board. So I might just sub and see what he's going to do here. I might just sub and see what he's going to do. Just to soak up a shot. Let's see who he goes out into. Is it going to be Kyogre? It's going to be Wimscott. So Wimscott's probably going to set up a Tailwind. And in this case, we are just going to get after that. We're just going to get after that, uh, that Wimscott here and slow him down a bit more. So I'm just going to go after Wimscott, try to take him out, keep the weather going, and then I'm just going to set up a sub. Because I really do think Necrozma is going to go after Zacian. We can waste the Dynamax turn. And then if he doesn't go after Zacian, we have a free substitute, which is beautiful. He's going to Cotton Spore me. Slow me down a little bit. We still outspeed all day. We have Tailwind out and about. And plus, we're max striking with him. Dassian outspeeds Licky Licky does not. That's fine. Substitute coming out here. We are subbing. We are subbing. I'm kind of hoping he goes after Licky Licky. Let's see. He's going to Quake. And I knew he's going to Quake. I was going to swap him to the bird. That would have been a smart play. He's going to Quake. We're going to waste this uh, Dynamax turn. He's going to get Special Defense Boost, which I could care less about. We have a bunch of physical attackers on the board. Your Special Defense Boost is doing absolutely well. It's doing absolutely well. If we do that, we can sub up again, which I'm probably going to do. Which I'm probably gonna do unless he brings out Kyogre. He could bring out Robum here as well. But there's some big time damage. We bring Wimscott down to Phil Sash and then Buffett's gonna take it out. So solid turn for us. Solid turn from us. And we slow him down, which is nice. We slow him down. And he doesn't get off Tailwind, which we love, which we adore. I'm super surprised he didn't go for Tailwind. He went for Cotton Sword over Tailwind. But I, th I think he realized that like maybe our Tailwind's ending sooner. So Cotton Sword come out. But Tailwind's just uh, the better move all the round. It really is just a better move all around. But yo, my boy Licky Licky's still chilling here. We each have one more turn left in Dynamax. He's gonna go into Kyogre here. So Kyogre's gonna come out here. He is gonna change up weather. That is kind of scary. Uh, I think we just go straight into like a uh, we overgrowth here and protect. That get some terrain rolling for us. I do like the overgrowth. I'm gonna overgrowth and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna protect here. I'm just gonna protect. Let's see what he does. Because he's probably just going to go for a water spout here. I'm just going to protect my Zacian. Even though I probably should have went after him now that we have Tailwind. And he's going to protect the Kyogre. Okay, so he protects the Kyogre. Hopefully he goes after Zacian here. That can be really good for us. And he's just going to steal Spike across the board. So he's going to steal Spike into Licky Licky, which was finally the smart play. But we do eat up, which is rather good. We do eat up. I'm trying to figure out what we can do here. I think Tailwind's gone. But Necrozma is rather slow. We're going to go for the Overgrowth here. And I think Tailwind does end, which kind of hurts us all. The Overgrowth comes out here. It does basically nothing to that thing. We could go for a Power Whip next turn if we can get it off. But again, he's probably just going to go for like a Water Spout. And I think he's just going to wrap up the battle from there. It's tough news. It's real tough. It's real tough for us. We get some HP back. Hopefully he's asking out speeds, but I don't think it does. Because Tailwind's gone, right? Was that last turn Tailwind? I think it was. I think it was because their Dynamax turns are over. Or we might have one more. Wait, I'm confused. We might have one more. If we have one more, that's huge news. That's really big for us. Show us we have one more turn left in Tailwind. Dynamax turns over. We might have one more now. Think about it. Because we set up Tailwind on first turn with Dynamax Pokemon. And we should, right? 
Okay, that's big. That's big. We are minus two on speed with Church of Soul, but we should be able to outspeed all these guys. Well, I, well, at least I'm talking about my Sassian. I'm gonna go for the Power Whip. I'm gonna go after this thing, and I think I just take a sword on top of that. I don't know. That's tough, dude. Consport really do me dirty. I might swap, but I can't. I cannot swap. Do I protect on on uh, Licky Licky? I do have protect. I might have to protect this turn. Let's see how this one plays out here. We're going to go protect there, and I'm just going to go for a Sacred Sword right into this Kyrie. Because I cannot have a Water Spout coming out here. Water Spout can do too much damage. Licky Licky's going to protect. And he's probably doubling down to my Assassin. So Assassin's probably dead, but at least we get off the Sacred Sword here. Sacred Sword comes out here. Big time damage. Go for a Water Spout. He does. I mean, Assassin can soak that up. Assassin can soak that up. And hopefully he's going after the... He's definitely going after Zassi. He's definitely doubled down into it. We'll see how this one plays. Life Orb's going to chip up some damage. And he's going to go for the Sun Seal Strike, which takes out my Zassi. Okay. So, trying to think of how we should play this one. Because he's a solo hitting Pokemon. He is a solo hitting Pokemon. And my problem here is I have to choice into a move. And I know my boy outspeeds everybody. I mean, I can hope that he protects that, uh, that Kyogre. And I can drop an EQ and I can double down into Charisma. But he can protect both Pokemon. This is coming down to the wire. Such a good battle. Tailwind's gone. Zapdos coming come out here. He can outspeed everybody. I think we choice to that throw chop. We should get after his Necrozma. I mean, he's defense plus one. But yo, look at shiny Galarian Zapdos. Oh my god. I love I love how they use the original colors. But from here, I'm thinking of just EQ in across the board. Throw chopping right into this dude. Maybe he'll protect the Kyogre. That's what I'm thinking. He does protect somebody. It is the Kyogre. It's gonna be big for us. Could be real big for us. This could be real big for us. The Rochop's gonna come across here. Doing some not at all, not not even close to good, good damage. I thought we were gonna get off better damage. Psychic Fangs come out here, and that's dead Zapdos. God dang it. That defense boost really doing him good. And he's bulky all around. So he made the right calls. We just ended up keeping that Necrozma in the battle a little too long. Definitely a little bit too long. And we could have brought in a Kyogre of our own. Kyogre could have did some work. But EQ would have came out here. Really did nothing, and that's gonna be GG's. But I'm glad we got to show off Licky Licky about him. He did some work, did some big damage to Dynamax. Took out who did he take out? The Whimsicott in one turn, and then we took out who else did we take out? It was Whimsicott and the Thunderous. So we did really good in Dynamax. We just didn't have enough power to kind of get rid of this uh, Necrozma because I wasn't worried about that Kyogre at all. But we're gonna run this battle. We start off 0 oh, 1, top of our second battle. Look for our first win. Second battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves our first victory. We're going up against a Trick Room Frost Moth team. And if you guys seen my Frost Moth video, you guys know the power of this Pokemon. Really, really strong. Really great all around. And it's just a menace in the Trick Room. But he also has a Hatterene. He has the Calyrex to set up the Trick Room. Then he also has the Incineroar Rillaboom alongside with Kyogre. So how should I play this one? How should I go into it? Can I counter Trick Room with anybody? I do have Taunt. But they could be a Metal Herd Pokemon, which could be a problem. So I could go Kyogre just for a double hitting move. I could also Dynamax Kyogre. So he doesn't have uh, any follow me Pokemon. So I'm going to go Kyogre. Force the fake out on him and potentially just Dynamax a Pokemon and get rid of him. With him. So I'm going to go there. I might go Regilecki here as well. But I could also go in with like Tornadus or something. It could be good all around. So I'm going to go there, there. I'm going to go Zacian. And then I am going to bring in I'm Licky Licky just in case you know Trick Room's going to be happening. Right? Because if he gets off Trick Room, Licky Licky can actually thrive. All right, I'm with it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves someone here in battle number two but yeah he's got to be going for trick room right obviously hatterene calyrex as a lead or probably incineroar hatterene or rillaboom hatterene is definitely a solid lead if he leads rillaboom hatterene i'm gonna be kind of scared but i still think i'm gonna dynamax and get it i think i am can you taunt the hatterene or does that get magic bounce i'm kind of curious kind of curious but in that case i might just double down in the hatterene not even worry about like a fake out right that would probably be my play. I wouldn't even worry about a fake out. I would just die next because he would probably fake out my Kyogre, right? Thinking I'm going to go for a water spout. Let's see how this one plays. Let's just see what it does. He's going to end up going Hatterene. Oh, and Rillaboom. Ah! I don't like you, Rillaboom. I'm going to get after his Hatterene. I'm not going to allow him to set up Trick Room. Trick Room is his one and only like option here. I'm going to double down to Hatterene, and then I can just Hurricane straight across into that, uh, that Rillaboom if I want to. I can always swap Kyogre and use him. But yeah, I think he's just gonna go for the fake out, right? There's no way he just grassy guides into me. I think he just goes for the fake out and we just double down ahead of me at this point, right? And we could change up terrain too. Which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change up terrain because a lightning and a uh and a hurricane should be able to take out Hatterene. So I'm just gonna double down to Hatterene 
He might grass guide into me, but if we can get rid of that terrain, that could be really good for us. The smart plays by Genius. Smart plays. Like I said, Hurricane and Lightning should be able to get rid of this Pokemon. No problem. Obviously, I could have geysered and like guaranteed it, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a risky player. I play with a little bit of pizzazz, yo. <laughs> I, I, I like to play on the edge. I like to play on the edge. But I wonder what he's going to do here. I think he's thinking of like who should he fake out. I'm hoping he fakes out the Kyogre. I'm hoping he fakes out the Kyogre. He's probably sitting there like, if I don't fake out Kyogre and he goes for a Water Spout, I'm in trouble. So I'm just going to Dynamax. Hopefully, he fakes out the Kyogre and we get the double down. Because if he fakes out the... Uh, the thunderous then we have a problem we're not thunderous the tornadoes and that wouldn't be the smart play he's probably he could be sitting there and be like i have focus ash Kyogre can't take me out and i know that tornadoes isn't gonna dynamax which would be a smart play but that that, that takes a lot of thinking let's see what he does let's see what he ends up doing he's gonna end up going for a fake out oh my god he did it he did it how dare him he did it that little biscuit we're gonna lightning trick room is gonna come out here and we are gonna chain up terrain which is rather good the terrain's gone that hurts the soul. And we're gonna get it after. God dang fake out. God dang fake out. He's gonna pop the trick room. And that sucks, man. That sucks. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. Okay, so from here, I guess we'll just kill. Kill Hatterene and then just uh, hurricane across the board. I mean, we do have Licky Licky. Licky Licky's not bad, but dude, he's gonna run me. Battle's not looking good. This is not looking good. No bueno. It's looking no bueno. We did change up terrain, which works really good. So he's probably going to swap the Robum. Robum actually goes first, which kind of sucks. So he might just you turn out. He might just you turn out. Maybe I should have went into a geyser on that slot. He's probably going to swap into either the Calyx or the Frost. Hey, I should have went for a Taunt. I should have went for a Taunt, but I think Taunt gets Magic Bounce. Someone let me know in the comments section down below. Does Taunt get Magic Bounce? I believe it does. I'm gonna withdraw the Robin. I knew we should have went after that slot. He's gonna go with Calyrex. Okay, Calyrex is gonna come out here. We're gonna drop a Hurricane onto it. Hopefully, we get the Ducks. It's gonna unnerve us, too. There's no berries allowed. And he's gonna go for a Brutal Swing. Oh, he's just proc policy. So he's proc policy. Rather smart play. I wish we went into that slot. I wish we did. I wish we did. I'm trying to get the Ducks here. Guys, are gonna fly. We're gonna get rid of Hatterene. He's gonna save his Robin for the back end. Dang, dude, imagine we went after Calyrex that turn. Woo! That could have brought us right in the game. Hurricane's gonna come out here, and we need the Ducks. I never get the Ducks, but I think it's time to get the Ducks, right? I think it's time to get the Ducks, right? No. Oh, we got the Ducks! We got the Ducks! Let's go. That's a big-time Ducks. That's big-time Ducks. That is big-time Ducks. Big-time Ducks come out here. Um, I think I had the guys are into him, right? He's gonna bring out Frostmoth, if I had to guess, right? Or maybe back out Robin. Change the terrain back? I mean, if he does, then we can just hurricane into that slot. But uh, I think we're fine. I think, we, I think I like where we're sitting. It's gonna be close. We need ducks to hit him. We need a little bit of RNG on our side. We did get the ducks. That's my first time like in a while. I never get the ducks. It's always dropping hurricanes and just no ducks, no ducks. When I think it's like a, a high chance, like 30%, it's rather high to get. I feel like I miss more attacks than I get ducks. And missing attacks is like sometimes like 5 to 10%. And I'm always missing attacks. He's going to end up bringing out Frostmoth. Yes, kind of saw it's coming from a mile away. Frostmoth is here. He came to play. So Frostmoth's out and about. I am going to go for a nice no geyser into Calyrex. No, not in the Frostmoth. Which geyser does more? Did I even check it? 140, 150. So this geyser does more. And I'm not even using it. This geyser does more. And I'm just going to pop a hurricane right into the Frostmoth. Let's do it. Even though he's going to Dynamax Frostmoth, right? I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared, but I have to get rid of this Calyrex. I have to get rid of this Calyrex. We still have Licky Licky in the back, which isn't too bad. He can body slam. He can get some paralyzes. It's kind of slow. We'll see how this one plays out here. Here comes the, here comes the Dynamax out and about here. Is he going Calyrex or Frostmoth? I would think he's going Frostmoth with full HP. But he ends up choosing the Calyrex. So Calyrex is going to go. He's going to take the risk with the Calyrex. That's the weakness policy product. And we have our fingers crossed for the Ducks to get after him. Let's go, Ducks. Come on, Ducks. Need you here, Ducks. Need you here, Ducks. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Ducks, baby. The Ducks. We love the Ducks. We love the Ducks. Giga Drain's gonna come out here. That's totally fine. That did a nice chunk of damage, but we're hoping Geyser can actually finish off this uh, Calyrex. 
if it does, we are sitting in a beautiful spot. Let's go, Kyogre. You are the best in the rain. 150 base power stab. <gasps> oh my god. No shot. That hurts the soul. Give me the ducks on the frost moth. Give me the ducks. Yes. Ducks, <laughs> ducks are powerhouse today. That's awful right there. That sucks right there. I think legit just lived on one. Look at that. Look at that. Well, I don't like that. Um, at this point, I'm just going to go for a what, origin pulse. I'm sorry, a hurricane. I got to get rid of the Calyx, right? That hurts, man. That hurts. I got to get rid of the Calyx. Maybe he protects the Calyx, but I don't know. That hurts, man. Maybe Ducks KO. Ducks are coming up clutch in battle number two so far. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Ducks again. Oh, no. Come on. Ducks, you're better than that. Ducks, you're better than that. So he's going to take out my Tornadus. Buffets are going to start flying. Um... We should be able to eat up this Giga Drain. Right? We should be able to eat up this Giga Drain. It's not sad for him. He is going to get a bit of HP back. But if we can get rid of this Calyrex, that could be really good for us. Go ahead, Origin Pulse. Or, actually, we have to be able to eat first. We have to be able to eat up first. He's stuck. Go ahead, hit yourself in confusion. No. Giga Drain comes out here. Should be able to eat up. You have a Soul Fest. Beautiful. He's going to get back some HP. Now I just need this Origin Pulse to land. Can you land? We don't have rain, but still. We just need it to land. Go ahead, Origin Pulse. Go ahead, Origin Pulse. Good work. Origin Pulse ends up landing. We get rid of the Calyrex, and Frost Moth is down on the ledge. Okay, cool. Woo! We're sweating this one out. This is a good battle. Ducks definitely doing us good. The Ducks did us really good so far. I do like the Ducks. I do like the Ducks. He's going to bring back out Rollboom. We still have Licky Licky, which I'm definitely going to bring out here. And who do I get rid of? Can I play this one? We could go after Rollboom. He has Fake Out ready to roll. I think at this point, we just drop an Ice Beam into Rillaboom. Or we can drop a Thunder. Thunder ain't too bad. But it's not 100% accuracy at this point. He changed terrain back to what he wants. He's probably going to Grass Glide into my Kai Ogre. Maybe he might fake out my Licky Licky. I don't really know. But at this point, I'm just going to go straight here. And then I might just Body Slam right onto him. I think Frost Moth is a bigger threat than Rillaboom. Because I do have Zassian to kind of just whip up into that Rillaboom. Let's see how this one plays. But yo, Licky Licky came to play. Licky Licky might be slowest on the field, so it might come first. But yo, dude, MVP right now, Hurricane and Ducks. And I was just saying, I never get Ducks. Because you guys know I never get the Ducks. So I think all the Ducks were kind of just building up for one video for me. Which is like, here, Jeans, you never get Ducks, so have them on both Pokemon. But they only gave us one hit, hitting them in Confusion, which is pretty good. Red Scott is going to fly here. We don't want to protect Kyogre. Obviously, I would have protected. And Kyogre ends up fainting. So Kyogre said... Trick Room is slowly ending. Body Slam's gonna come out here first. Can we take out Frost Moth with that? Licky Licky getting some work done. Licky Licky getting some work done. I love it. I love it. Licky Licky getting on the board. Doing really well in today's video. A lot better than I thought it would be doing. A lot better than I thought it would be doing. Great in Dynamax. Hits like a truck. We did go up against the Trick Room team, so it worked out perfectly for us. And now he just has Real Boom. And we have Zassian. We still have one of the strongest Pokemon ever with Trick Room ending. Kind of hurts us a little bit because Licky Licky doesn't go first, but our Zassian goes first. I like where we're sitting. I think our opponent cancels the battle, and we start off one and one. So, yo, my boy Licky Licky doing some work. And he's shiny, yo. He's gorgeous. One of the, one of the coolest shinies. I always love that gold, the, the gold shinies. They always look super sick. I'm just going to Behemoth Blade. I'm just going to Body Slam. I think Body Slam has a chance of paralyzing, right? Has a chance of paralyzing. It's 85 base power, so that's a pretty good move. Battle was canceled. There it is. Like I said, one and one. Let's hop into our third. Look for that winning record. We are sitting at one and one. You guys know the deal. We're hopping into our third and final battle and looking for that winning record. That last battle went perfectly. We played it really well, but not going to lie. The Ducks did come up clutch, and we got a little bit of RNG on our side. But we're going up against another Trick Room team. He might go into Trick Room. He might not. He has a Bronze on for Trick Room. He also has the Groudon and Venus for combo alongside with Incineroar. And then who is that? What is that? Yvelta and Regilecki. So I kind of just want to go into Zapdos here, just in case he wants to go into Incineroar. We can Dynamax him. And I could go Regilecki because this Regilecki is physical attacking. So we can always coach it up with the Zapdos and kind of roll out from there. Obviously, we have to roll out with Kyogre because, you know, weather war is going on. And then last but not least, I feel like Zacian is just a play. Can't go wrong with Zacian. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a winning record for you guys in battle number three. But yeah, yo, Licky Licky did great today. Dynamax in the first battle did some big time damage. Ended up losing that one. But then uh, second battle came out in that trick room. Came out in the end. Did some nice little work. Yo, I'm loving Licky Licky. I feel like this is a perfect team for him. He just thrives out well. He just thrives out well. And he's very, like, usable with this team. Because a lot of off-meta Pokemon are not too usable. 
but he works well on the team, and I really like it. Like these are master tier battles, like, top two thousand. Like the battles are solid. You guys can tell we're going up against some strong opponents with some strong Pokemon, and he's just thriving. He's just doing great. He's just the man. He's just the man, especially because he's shiny and he looks dope. But he doesn't look cooler than that uh, Galarian Zapdos shiny. Like look at this thing. I'm about to toss it out. Who's he gonna throw out? He's gonna throw out Incineroar. So cool. We get that Defiant Pop. I might just Dynamax. I might just Dynamax and E Web. I might just Dynamax and E Web. Slow him down and like, get the bird rolling. But he could swap it to Groudon. Look at this. Defiant. I, do, do I have to Dynamax him or keep it keep him with the Choice Scarf? I could keep him with the Choice Scarf and just outspeed him regardless. I'm kind of thinking of doing just Brave Bird in here. Brave Bird and maybe just E Weapon. There's no way he fakes out my bird, right? There's just no shot he fakes out my bird. There's just no shot he fakes out my bird. He might just swap in the ground on here. He might just swap in the ground on. There's just no shot he fakes out my bird. I'm gonna withdraw him. Okay, I'm cool with that. Who are you gonna go into from here? I'm gonna go on the ground. Okay, so ground's gonna have to eat up this Brave Bird. Ground is gonna have to eat up this Brave Bird. And what's Incineroar going for? He's gonna fake out who? Red's like, see, I told you, there's no shot he fakes out the bird. The Brave Bird's gonna come out here. We're just not even gonna waste our Dynamax here. And we're just gonna do some big time damage. So we get that off. That is lovely. And then from here, uh, do we just Brave Bird again into that slot? I definitely could. Or he could protect. He knows we outspeed. I think he's just gonna protect, right? I think he's just gonna protect. I'm gonna predict the protect here. I'm gonna predict the protect. I'm just gonna double down into instant ore here. I am predicting the protect here. Hard protect. Hard protect is the only after. Not a bad turn from us. Not a bad start from us. Not a bad start. I wonder what he's gonna do. This bird's ripping right now. I was gonna Dynamax him, but I just don't see the point. I just feel like we have we have a lot of control with this choice scarf. We might as well use the value out of it. We get rolling here. He Dynamaxes the ground. Okay, I'm cool with him Dynamax the ground. I really am. I am really cool. He's probably gonna go, go into a Quake. I get off my turns. I might be able to take out this Incineroar. I might be able to roll out from there. Maybe he max guards. That'd be hilarious. He max guards. That'd be beautiful. That would be beautiful. But we still have the Kyogre in the back end. We still have Zassium who we can outspeed. I kind of like this. What's he gonna go for? That's not guard or anything. We double down into Incineroar. We were predicting and protect. It did not work out in our favor, but still. Some nice damage we're chunking up here. Can Vegelecki finish this Pokemon off? Go ahead, Reggie. Go ahead, Reggie. Do him dirty. You're a strong, little guy. Ah! Oh, that hurts the soul! Drop a rock! Drop a rock! Pick up my bird. No, he quakes. Oh, dude, that hurts. That one hurts. That one definitely hurts. He takes out my Regilecki. I'm gonna take some weather control here. That one hurts, man. That hurts. Maybe he's going for a parting shot. I wonder what he's going for. He goes for a fire blitz that does take uh, out my bird, but more importantly, it takes out him with recoil. And then I just bring in weather. That hurts, man. Yeah, he goes for a fire blitz. So he's gonna take himself out. He's gonna take out my bird. That hurts. That hurts, because you should be dead. You should be dead. That Pokemon should be dead. Um, we just go into our Kyogre at this point. Kyogre should be able to outspeed. And then we have Zassian. And I could Dynamax Kyogre afterwards. I could straight up Dynamax Kyogre right now. I might have to do. Who's he going to go into? It really depends who he goes into. But I got the Ogre ready to roll. Depends who he goes into. He goes into Venusaur then. He might not Dynamax. Let's just see what he does. I think he's going to go into Venusaur. Knowing he has the sun out there. Yeah, Venusaur comes back out here. And Venusaur might be Focus Ash, which could be a problem. So I kind of just want to double down into him. I kind of want to double down in the Venusaur at this point. I don't want to double down to Venusaur, but I kind of got to get rid of you, right? I mean, at this point, I could just go for a Water Spell. Like, we have speed on him. It's my play all day. I'm going to double down to Venusaur with the Water Spell rolling. Because Water Spell should be able to take him out. So I don't want to Dynamax and miss miss my chance to get rid of him. Because if I Dynamax and go after the ground and he guards, that's a really tough situation. Because his Venusaur could be Sash. He could put one of my Pokemon to sleep. It could just be a problem. So I'd rather just Water Spout this turn and uh, hit it with Behemoth Blade. Because my Pokemon should be faster than them all around. My Pokemon should be cooking. Pokemon should be cooking. He's going to end up doing nothing. So this should work out perfectly. Blade's going to come out here. If I had to guess, he might be Sash. Right? Sash or not? What is it? 
It's not even Sash. Okay, so that works out perfectly. But we were just, we were just playing very defensively. We were playing very cautiously. Kyogre should outspeed. Yep, Water Sprout comes out here. We say bye-bye to Groudon, and that's GG, yo. That is GG's. We make the right call. Sometimes the right call is just not Dynamax, and that worked out perfectly in our favor. Galarian Bird did rip up. I was going to Dynamax him, but he ripped up. He did well. He did well with that Brave Bird right off the rip. The Defiant really got us going. It really did, because it just posed a threat on his Pokemon, forced him to swap, not knowing what he should do. Everything works out perfectly. So we still have Dynamax if we want to use it. I don't even think we have to, because he's going to throw out Yveltal. I mean, yeah, let's Dynamax. He's probably going to cancel and think we have play rough, but I'm going to Dynamax just in case. But I really want to solidify this victory here. Uh, what would do more damage? What would do more damage? I don't know. Like, this always confused me. Like, we have a super effective lightning move right here. Which would be times two because it's double damage. But it's not stab. Whereas we have a move like this with stab with the 1.5 and then the rain boost too. So I'm not too sure which does more damage, but I'm just going to drop a lightning. I think lightning is a bit more. But I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go Behemoth Blade, and I believe our opponent just canceled the battle. Yep, he canceled the battle, and there it is, a winning record with a Series 12 Licky Licky team. It's always fun using off-meta Pokemon in Series 12, considering Series 12 have been going on for so long, and we've just been seeing the same off-meta Pokemon being played. But Licky Licky got out here, did some work in battle number one, did some work in battle number two, and then we just brought out the GOAT squad with Zacian, Kyogre, Zapdos, and Regilecki in battle number four. Four? Why was I going to say four? In battle number three to grab ourselves that winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.